Hello my friends, today I'll show you the easiest way to install the new Windows 11 25 H2 on a computer that's over 11 years old. All you need to do is download the new Windows 11 ISO file and follow my simple instructions. Please note, the installation process will completely erase all personal data on your C drive, so back up your files and save them to another drive, your Microsoft license will automatically transfer to the new Windows 11 25 H2. I'll open settings and we'll look at my processor information together. It used to be quite fast, and I'm confident the new Windows 11 won't be slow on this computer. So, open your browser and search for Download Windows 11. Or open the video description, and click the link to go directly to the download page. This is the official Microsoft website, We'll download the latest version of Windows 11 25 H2 here. Lick the link to download the ISO file, this will launch the media creation tool. Once it's downloaded, open File Explorer. Go to your Downloads folder, and double-click the installer. Accept the license terms. On the next screen, you can uncheck the box if you want to change the language. I'll stick with English. Click Next. Now, select the option to download the ISO file instead of creating a bootable USB. Choose where to save it, I'll pick the desktop. Click, Save, and the download will start, once it's finished, we'll continue with the guide. OK, the ISO file has finished downloading, lick, finish to close the media creation tool. To mount the ISO as a virtual drive, just double-click the ISO file. Then, open this PC, and take note of the drive letter assigned to the virtual disk, and my system, it's drive F. Now, right-click the Start button, and select Windows PowerShell, Admin. In the PowerShell window, we'll enter just two simple commands. type, cd, space, and colon. Replace with your actual virtual drive letter, if it's different. Then press, enter. Next, type, dot, slash, setup, dot, exe, space, slash, product, space, server, and hit enter again. You'll see a window that says install Windows Server, but don't worry, that's completely normal. These commands initiate the installation of Windows 11 25 H2 in server mode, which bypasses hardware compatibility checks, and this ensures seamless installation, even on an unsupported PC. Once the installation is complete, it actually installs regular Windows 11 25 H2. Click Next, and the installer will begin preparing your PC. Accept the license terms. Now we're offered three installation options. Keep everything, your personal files, settings, and apps. Keep only personal files, like photos, videos, and documents. Or keep nothing. In essence, this will be a clean installation of Windows 11. And this is exactly what we need. Click, Next. OK, Windows 11 is ready to install. All settings are configured, and if you need to make changes, you can still click back. Otherwise, click Install to begin. But one more thing before we continue. The update process may take some time, and if you are using a laptop, make sure it is connected to a power source. If you are ready, click Install. During installation, your PC will restart several times. Please, do not turn off your computer. OK. All the Windows 11 files are downloaded, and now we need to do some settings. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip.
I will change the computer name later. To install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account, at this step I will press Shift and F10 and open Command Prompt, and then install Windows 11 with only a local account. If you want to install Windows 11 with a Microsoft account, then skip this and continue the installation. But if you want to continue the installation with a local account, then to activate the command prompt move the command prompt window a little with the mouse, and type this command. Press, enter, and the computer will immediately reboot. After rebooting, the computer automatically returned to the final stage of installing Windows 11, and for the trick with a local account to work, you need to pull the LAN cable out of the network card and turn off the internet. Here again, select your region, yes. Now select the keyboard layout, yes. Skip. In this window, click, I don't have internet. In the window that opens, you need to enter the username of the local account. Next. You need to enter your password here, but I'll do it later. Next. I accept all these privacy settings, next. The new Windows 11 welcomes us. There is not much left. Now you can connect to the internet. And yes, the installation was quite successful and I now have the latest version of Windows 11 25H2 installed on my computer. Now let's take a look at the system details. Open settings. Go to the system tab. And scroll down. Then click about. Here you can see my processor, although it's not officially supported by Windows 11, the installation went through without any issues thanks to this method. So now I have the latest Windows 11 25H2 running on my old PC. Let's also check the activation status. Go back to the system section and click activation. As you can see, new Windows is activated with my digital license. Now, let's confirm that we're still receiving security updates even on this unsupported device. I go to Windows Update and click check for updates. And there it is, updates are downloading without any problems. If you found this video helpful, please share it with anyone who might find it useful. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck!